Welcome back to the Solo Promoter YouTube channel and welcome back to Outlaw Championship Wrestling. Uh, we are ready for our next big event and we've got a big one in the main event. Falls Count Anywhere, Terry Funk versus Jerry Lawler. Uh, we had these two uh, wrestle last card and it was a wild brawl and uh, it looks like it's going to be another wild brawl here tonight. Uh, we've got some other uh, things happening here as well, but before we get going, we, of course, want to send out a special shout-out to all the Golden Circle channel members. These are the fine folks who get uh, who help make the videos on this channel possible, and they also are the fine folks who um, will uh, get to see this video before it is released to the public. So a big shout-out to all our Golden Circle members, and I will say, uh, once a month, we give away some free memberships to... To, uh, free one month memberships to the Golden Circle. So be sure to catch our live streams because that's where we do it. All right, uh, let's run down the card here. Our opening match is going to be uh, David Schultz uh, versus Ernie Ladd. Then we have Blackjack Lonza versus Jimmy Garvin. We have Iron Mike Sharp versus a local talent. I uh, decided to throw Iron Mike Sharp, uh, hopefully, an easy victory here today. Uh, and then we have a rematch. We've got Doom versus Junkyard Dog and Mr. Olympia. Uh, so it, the new tag team of Doom, um, the last time these two met, uh, it was their debut match, and uh, they uh, it ended in DQ. So uh, we will see how it goes. Uh, and then we have an interesting matchup. Mr. Wrestling 2 has partnered up with Jay Young blood uh, to take on the great kabuki and killer kong great kabuki has been injuring people left and right uh dick the bruiser and um oh my gosh i'm blanking on uh who the person he just injured with the mist is um but uh, so mr wrestling 2 has uh paired up with jay youngblood to, to to take them on K gary hart's men in a tag team match and then again in our main event we have the one the only um terry funk taking on uh, Jerry Lawler in a Falls Count Anywhere match. So let's get going here. Let's uh, start uh, with our opening match, and that's David Schultz versus uh, the one and only, the big cat, Ernie Ladd. Uh, Ernie Ladd kind of bubbling just right under getting a title shot. Um, so a victory here would certainly uh, propel him in that direction. Let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. David Schultz going to start things off with an eye rake. Hurt, too. Uh, big elbow. Choice A. Let's see. His ropes are a B. Yeah, going to have to go for the ropes there. The opponent uses one of his specialty moves and goes in for the kill. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Death jump. David Schultz climbing up. Stumble to the feet. Perfect cross body. Rolling the pin here. Target two. Roll seven. There's one fatigue for Ernie Ladd. And David Schultz tosses him out of the ring. May not be smart here. The opponent comes out of the ring and tries to hit you with an object like a steel chair. The referee warns them to stop. They shove the referee. Smashes Ernie Ladd. Is he going to get disqualified here? Let's see. Uh, no, he is not disqualified. Throws Ernie Ladd back in. Rolls on level three. And then tosses him out of the ring again. Uh, and again, tries to hit him. Might be uh, disqualified here. And he is. And that is it. The match ends in a wild brawl. And uh, Ernie Ladd picks up the victory. DQ due to uh, Schultz smashing Ladd with a chair. Uh, let's see. One star. <clears throat> it wasn't exciting. Uh, but one star there. And uh, that's how we will end that match. All right, uh, things are uh, getting wild and crazy in our opening match here. Let's head to our next match. Our ma Actually, we should switch these. Proper booking would switch these two matches. Uh, Iron Mike Sharp versus Local Talent. Uh, so let's uh, roll one die over here so we can see Local Talent's name. Uh, his first name is Chris. Oops, let me pause this because this is not part of the match. His last name is Chris Smith. I think we've had Chris Smith before. Uh, we shall see. Chris Smith. All right. So Chris Smith versus uh, Iron Mike Sharp. Let's start the counter again. Let's roll the dice. 
Uh, big start off there by uh, Iron Mike Sharp into the turnbuckle. Whips Chris into the turnbuckle. Uh, he lifts a knee. They are hurt. We're going to roll on level two into the turnbuckle. Throws Iron Mike Sharp. He lifts a knee. He rolls on level two. There's a punch to the gut. Hurt two. Top rope neck snap three. Ooh, that's his pin. Target is six. Roll is a five. And that is it. Iron Mike Sharp with the victory after a top rope neck snap. And um, it wasn't a squash. We'll give it, we'll give it one star. We'll be generous. Uh, give it one star. All right. <clears throat> Our next match, Blackjack Lonza versus Jimmy Garvin. Um, and before we get going here, we will add... Uh, Precious's distractor rating. Um, so let's see. This is both. Nope. This is just the red corner. Uh, distraction attempts one. And then we will add to the red corner manager interference attempts one. And there we go. All right. Time to go here. Both these men desperate for a victory. Uh, Blackjack Lonza and Jimmy Garvin both roll a six, but Blackjack Lonza is going to start things off. Face smother. Power move. He has the power, but Jimmy Garvin reverses it. Strut and fluff hair. Dazed one. Uh, Atomic knee drop two. Power move. Blackjack Lonza reverses it, whips him into the turnbuckle, bounce forward, and into an incredible neck-breaking clothesline. Uh, and Blackjack Lonza tosses him out of the ring. What is his star here outside the ring? If Garvin leaves the ring or is thrown out of the ring and a 2 or 12 is rolled, Precious interferes with splay, spray with air freshener. All right, so let's roll out of the ring. It's not a 2 or a 12. He crawls helplessly back in uh, and gets tossed out of the ring again. It is an 8. He crawls helplessly back in and there is the Cobra hold on Jimmy Garvin. He is down. Choke on ropes, 2. Dazed, 1. Face smother, 2. Jimmy Garvin reverses it. Snap mare, hurt, 2. Head scissors, 2. Blackjack Lonza reverses it with a face smother. Uh, hurt, 2 into the turnbuckle you bounce forward off the turnbuckle catch the opponent with a skull splitting lariat they go down hard opponent rolls on level three defense uh hurt two there jimmy garvin whips blackjack lonza into the ropes comes off with a powerful flying shoulder tackle and there's a running knee to the gut that's his pin target three not going to use any distractions or manager interference here yet uh there's one fatigue there and there's the texas brain buster all right she uh precious will use her distraction attempt here, and her distraction rating is a six. And she is able to distract. Uh, Blackjack Lonza tosses him out of the ring in frustration six. Uh, the rest are with the better ring rating. They are equal. So Blackjack Lonza hits the Texas Brain Buster again. All right. And uh, Precious is going to interfere again. Uh, manager breaks pin, roll disqualification three, no DQ, uh, opponent rolls on level three offense. All right, so uh, Jimmy Garvin now busted open and gets tossed out of the ring, uh, crawls helplessly back in, and there's the Cobra hold, down three, choke on ropes, two, dazed one, rope burn two, an agility move, Jimmy Garvin coming back with a standing knee drop, hurt two, Running forearm, two. Hurt, two. Standing knee drop, three. Hurt, two. Uh, running forearm, two. Hurt, two. Into the turnbuckle. Whips him into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Running forearm, two. Hurt, two. Standing knee drop, three. Pin, that catches him. Target, three. Roll is a three. Look at that. Come from behind victory. Holy moly. Huge win there for Jimmy Garvin with a standing knee drop. Yikes. All right, so that is a two-star match. And Blackjack Lonza just doesn't even know what happens. He's 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 frustrated. He is angry. Uh, but what a what a great ending to that match there. All right, it's time uh, for the first of two tag matches. 
And uh, let's see. We're going to have Butch Reed. Uh, Butch. Did that switch? Yeah. Butch Reed is going to start with the Junkyard Dog. Uh, let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. And Butch Reed is going to win that. Jumping Knee Smash 2. Uh, they have equal agility, so that will work. Dazed 1. Snapmare 1. Dazed 1. Double Axe Handle 3. So that will bring in Ron Simmons. And that is a hurt two there. Right uppercut on the dog. The dog reverses it. Headbutt two. Down three. Uh, jumping headcracker two. Ron Simmons reverses it with a right uppercut. Hurt two. Scoop power slam three. Down three. Dog's going to try and tag out. Needs a six. Gets it. And Mr. Olympia comes in. I'm actually going to pause this. Because I'm going to get the double team chart. Uh, and I'm going to add both corners independent. Uh, double team attempts. I've, I've been, if you haven't watched my other videos, I've really been getting into using the double team chart. Now, this is the Legends one. So I'm using the Legends, the 2014 one uh, for my Legends feds. Uh, all right. So Mr. Olympia in, he rolls on level one into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick, uh, body slam two, but it's a power move, and Ron Simmons able to power out of that, choice F, um, let's see, his power is a plus one, going to go for that, this will work on an eight or less, six, it does, uh, down three, Mr. Olympia going to try and make the tag, not able to do it, all right, they're going to use one of their double team attempts. And they roll an 11. Uh, you hold the opponent while your partner tries to nail him with a big elbow smash off the top ropes. But the opponent ducks and you get hit instead. The opponent goes for a quick cover. Roll your pin. Um, so they're not going to use a pin save here, but that really backfired. Uh, target three rolls a nine. There's one fatigue there. Headbutt two. Hurt two. Uh, second rope crossbody block three. The fans loving this down three. Now they're going to use a double team attempt. Let's see what happens here. It is a five. Uh, your team smashes the opponent with a big double atomic drop or a huge double body backdrop. Roll on level three offense. Um, so there we go. There's a pile driver. That catches him. Uh... Yeah, uh, Butch Reed going to try and make the save using a pin save here. Uh, your tag partner tries to help, but it's stopped. Roll your pin. Target four. Roll is a five. There's another fatigue. Mr. Olympia going to tag in the junkyard dog, and he hits a Russian leg sweep. Hurts two. Crawling headbutts. The fans are loving this. They're going to use their final pin save here. Um, your tag partner tries to help, but is stopped. Roll your pin. Target is five. Roll is a 10. And now, uh, um, uh, Ron Simmons, uh, is busted open and, uh, junkyard dog. Ooh, is he going to throw him out of the ring? <sighs> Let's see what it, no, he's not. He's going to roll up because his ring was an A. Um, hip toss two is a power move. They have equal power, so that will work. Hurt two. Can he make the tag? He is not able to make the tag. Multiple jabs down three. And there it is. The big thump. They have no pin saves left. Target is eight. And the roll is a seven. And that ends the match. Ladies and gentlemen, the junkyard dog, uh, beats Ron Simmons. With the big thump, the fans going crazy. And uh, so let's see, that's one star. Uh, so that'll be a two star match because uh, one star for a grudge. And then there was uh, only four fatigue. Um, wow. I was hoping we had another tag team that was going to do great things, uh, but not against this team. They're not. Uh, I'm not writing them off yet, but uh so far, they've, they've lost both their matches. So, All right, time for our next match, and it is another tag team match. This is Jay Youngblood and Mr. Wrestling 2 taking on 
uh, the Great Kabuki and Killer Khan. We're going to start with these two. Uh, of course, we do have Gary Hart at ringside. Um, and let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. Uh, and let's see. Great Kabuki is going to start things off here with a bite on the mask. Hurt too. Armplit claw. Whoa, that catches him. Um, 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 let me pause this really quick. Let me add some match counters. Um, both corners independent. Pin saves. Uh, two. And let me see. Gary Hart, I think he can roll on this twice. Um, he has one distraction and two rolls on his chart. So this will be for the red corner. Manager interference attempts uh, two. And for the red corner, distraction attempts one. Now, neither of these teams are regular teams. Um, well, let me give them double team stuff. Both corners independently. Double team attempts three. Um, so these would actually get a two tag rating. Both of these teams. Um, but we'll see what happens here. Uh, all right. Oh, the timer was still going. Okay. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll take a minute off when we roll this. Uh, armpit Claw, is Mr. Wrestling 2 going to give up? We're not going to use a pin save yet. Target is three. Roll is an eight. There's one fatigue. Death jump. He's climbing up. Uh, the opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline. You're in trouble. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Death jump again. Climbing up. Another big clothesline from the top. Another death jump. And another big clothesline from the top. There's a heart punch. And he is down, going to try and make the tag. Target is six. Roll is an 11, not able to do it. Out of the ring, he does get tossed out of the ring. He crawls helplessly back in. There's a heart punch, three. Hurt, two. Great Kabuki going to tag in Killer Khan, who will roll on level two. There's a Mongolian chop. Mr. Wrestling, two, reverses it. A series of arm drag takedowns. Hurt, two. Back suplex, three. That catches him. Not going to use a pin save here. Target, three. Roll is an eight. There's one fatigue. Mr. Wrestling, two, going to tag in Jay Youngblood. Uh, and he hits the falling drop. They will use a pin save here. Uh, let's see what happens. Tries to help, but you have to roll your pin. So the target is five. Um, we will let... Uh, well, we'll just... Wait, 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 wait. No. Uh, okay, so target is five. Roll is a 12, so gets out of there. He's at a two fatigue. Uh, kneeling arm bar, two. Down three, kneeling arm bar two, down three, death jump, climbing up. Uh, struggle takes place, better agility rating. That's going to be Jay Youngblood. He wins that. Hits a double arm suplex. That's his pin. They're going to use their last pin save here. And your tag partner runs in and so is the partner. While the referee is distracted, your partner drops an elbow on the opponent and reverses the pinning combination. Opponent rolls pin. So the target is three over here. The roll is a seven. We also have to add another fatigue there. And he is busted open. He is going to tag in the great Kabuki who will roll on level three. There's a ju running, jumping, running jump kick. Uh, hurt two. Can he tag out? No, not able to tag out. Uh, choice E, second rope falling fist. Uh, he's going to go for the agility. This will work on a seven or less. No, does not. Jay Youngblood, double team move, tag. Uh, we will say that that works. And I, I got to fix this apparently. Double team move three. Roll one. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's what the asterisk is for. Uh, roll one die. It is a one. Double clothesline, three. So Mr. Wrestling 2 is in. It's a double clothesline. Rolling on level three. Down three. Uh, Great Kabuki going to roll out of the ring. 
Um, oh, Mr. Wrestling 2 grabs a chair, going to smash him. He might be disqualified. He is not. Smashes him, throws back in. The fan's loving this. Tosses it. Uh, no, not going to toss him out of the ring. Going to go up, uh, roll into the ropes. You come up the ropes, pump puts you down with a running back elbow. Clubbing blows. Two. Hurts two. Into the ropes. Whips him in again. The wrestler with the better ropes rating there equal. Uh, so Mr. Wrestling 2, uh, not going to throw him out of the ring. There's a head scissors. Hurts two. Into the ropes. You come up the ropes with a powerful flying shoulder tackle. Mr. Uh, Great Mr. Kabuki. Great Kabuki coming back. Choice B. And uh, going to throw Mr. Wrestling 2 into the turnbuckle. Bounce forward and catch the opponent with a skull-splitting Larry. They go down hard. Uh, and that is a hurt two for Great Kabuki. Back suplex three. Hurt two. Back suplex three. Hurt two. Head scissors two. Dazed one. Headlock takeover. Uh, power move. Uh, Mr. Wrestling 2 does have the power. Uh, so that will work. That is a hurt two. Clubbing blows two. Great Kabuki reverses it. Choice B uh, going to go for the agility. We'll need a seven or less. Six gets it. Mr. Wrestling 2 is down. Once per match, roll one die. Uh, one to four, play normally. Okay, so we're just playing normally. It is a down three. Mr. Wrestling 2 is going to roll out of the ring. Uh, oh, and um, Gray Kabuki might get disqualified here. We're going to let Gary Hart use a distraction attempt. Uh, and it is a success, so no more distractions there. Uh, Great Kabuki able to hit Mr. Wrestling 2 with a chair, throw him back in. And there is the spinning thrust kick. Roll one die and a roll of five or six. Nope, no green mist. So this is a plus one. They will use one of their pin saves over here. Uh, but no, stopped. Roll your pin. So this is a plus one. Target here is going to be five. Roll is a seven. And uh, they have one... Uh, pin save left and death jump uh, great kabuki climbing up blast him with a uh, big clothesline spinning thrust kick again <clears throat> roll one die um, it is a four so we just play normally spinning thrust kick okay they're going to use their last pin save over here uh, no stopped again so this is going to be a six roll is a ten and uh, Mr. Wrestling 2 starts bleeding through his mask, and the Great Kabuki tags in Killer Khan. Uh, and he hits the Killer Knee Drop, which is a plus one. Um, roll two dice. It is an eight. Second rope, Killer Knee Drop, plus two. They have no pin saves left. Target here is eight. Roll is an 11. He is able to get out again. Tree of Woe, three. Add one. Uh, now up to five fatigue. Uh, Killer Khan. Uh, I think we're going to have Gary Hart roll on the regular interference chart. He can't roll on uh, this. This other chart is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's got other wrestlers. Here we go. So we're going to roll on this chart. Um, uh, Hart climbs the ring apron and slips the wrestler a foreign object. Hart's wrestler decks the opponent. Opponent rolls level three offense. Um, so he's not disqualified, uh, and, uh, he is, there's no adding of fatigue there. Uh, killer knee drop again, and we will roll two dice again. The roll's an 11, top rope killer knee drop, plus three. Uh, so this is, the target is going to be 11. The roll is a five. If this match end, if this move ends the match, roll one die. Even the opponent is injured, Roll two dice for length of injury. Well, that did end the match. Uh, we are going to roll... Uh, oh, dang it. <laughs> this covering... Uh, I think we roll one die. And... Uh, we want to roll one die here. And it's a two, so that is an even... So now we're going to roll two die, and Mr. Wrestling 2 is injured for five cards. Uh, so Killer Khan 
gets the victory over Mr. Wrestling 2. And with the top rope killer knee drop, And let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's two and a half. So that'll be three and a half stars. And Mr. Wrestling 2 is injured for five cards after, uh, is injured for five cards. Okay, we will add our injury. Mr. Wrestling 2, I haven't set up any templates, so I'm not doing anything like that. Uh, moderate injury, enter the length, uh, five cards, injured by uh, Killer Khan. And I don't think I have any uh, options to change that. I think... Um, injury description... Uh, injured by Killer Khan's top rope killer knee drop. Let's see if that works. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. It is time for our main event, and it is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Uh, I have the ringside companion here. Let me get the Falls Count Anywhere match. Here we go. In this match, wrestlers uh, can pin their opponent anywhere. Deathmatch rules. Yep. When a wrestler is thrown out of the ring, leaves the ring, roll in the chart below. All right. This is it. This is your main event. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching this. Uh, hopefully, this will deliver. We've had a ton of crazy action so far. Uh, roll of the dice. Jerry Lawler going to start things off with a slap to the face, dazing Terry Funk. Another slap to the face, dazing him. A body slam. Funk powers out of it. Chop to the chest. Is he a zero zero? He is. Okay. Uh, chop to the chest, two. Um, and that will work. Hurt, two. Headbutts to the king. Down, three. Sleeper locks it in. Hurt, two. Body slam, two, dazed, one. Overhead wrist lock. Lawler reverses it. Head scissors, hurt, two. Vertical suplex, three, hurt, two. Into the ropes. Nope, he is going to roll up instead. There is a hip toss, uh, but Funk has the agility and hits a knee drop. Jerry Lawler reverses it, hits a knee drop of his own. Down three, and Funk is going to roll out of the ring. So we'll consult the chart. You ram, this is a Lawler is on offense. Uh, you ram the head of the opponent into the steel ring post. You throw him back into the ring and roll on level three offense or roll again on this chart. I think there's so much bad blood here that he is going to roll again on this chart. Five. It's up to you, promoter. You hit a deadly move outside the ring on the opponent. Add one to the opponent's pin rating. Uh, we, of course, will say that's a pile driver to the floor. Uh, eight. Bedlam. You beat the opponent all over the arena. Roll again on this chart. Five. Uh, so another pile driver, and that adds another fatigue there. And there is a two. Bedlam. You use your finisher in the aisle. Uh, so his finisher is the pile driver. Um, one of your favorite moves assigned a finisher rating. Of opponent rolls his finisher plus a finisher rating. If no pin, roll again. Okay. So uh, roll two dice. Let's see if he hits the fireball. He does not. So this is just a pile driver. It is plus two. So the target here is six. Uh, the roll is a seven. Funk able to kick out, but is now busted wide open. If no pin, you roll again on this chart. Okay. So the roll is a 10 now. Bedlam, the opponent makes a comeback, grabs an object like an old lady's umbrella, and smashes you. Add one to your pin rating. Uh, the opponent rolls again on this chart. Uh, 10 again. Oh, this is another comeback. Uh, the king. He grabs an object and hits Funk with it, who's now at four fatigue. And uh, we he will roll again on this chart. And the roll is a nine. The opponent makes a big comeback, so that's Funk. And Scoop slams you onto a souvenir stand. The opponent throws you back into the ring and rolls on level three offense. 
so there's the spinning toe hole plus one. Target is four. Roll is a five. He's able to kick out. What a match this is. There's a pile driver. Target is four. Roll is an 11. And now the king is busted open. Both men busted wide open. There's the spinning toe hole. Target six. Roll is a six. Big win there for, uh, for, uh, Terry Funk. Holy moly. All right. So, um, we will, Terry Funk wins with the spinning toe hold. And let's see, that'll be one star. Oh, they both had. <laughs> so, uh, that is actually, it's actually a five star match. There it is. You can't, uh, you can't deny that. A five-star match. Terry Funk wins. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we always do when we wrap things up here, we will head on over to the rankings and uh, see how the the rankings actually... I'm getting into the habit of uh, of backing up Outlaw Championship Wrestling. Okay, I'll figure that out later. I'll, I'll back it up. Uh, I'll back it up later. Uh, let's look at the rankings. I don't want to waste your time as I click around trying to remember how to do things. Uh, all right, so we'll get rid of the people who have left. Uh, Ronnie Garvin still is our champ. Terry Funk. Uh, so I think our number one contenders are going to be Terry Funk and Ernie Ladd. Uh, looks like it there. Um, and, uh, yeah, so there's the rest of your, uh, people over there. Uh, and then, um, Grey Kabuki and Killer Khan, Doom, poor Doom, way down at the bottom. Um, and there you go. All right, that is the current thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks again for tuning in and for watching this. Again, a big uh, shout out to the Golden Circle channel members who help make the videos on this channel possible. Uh, I forgot to say, I am using the FG Assistant app. Uh, that's what I'm using to roll things out. You can find out more information at patreon.com forward slash FG Assistant. Also want to let it be known that I am using a testing, a pre-release version of the FG Assistant app. So some of the things you may see on your screen may not be available to the current release. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you.